Here we are, finally, as promised in the Three Essential Blues Shuffles video. Walking bass. You will see that video on my channel soon. Here we are, the video about walking bass. I've put together six levels of walking bass for guitar that I use and which are great to play and fun to know. All tabs are available at my Patreon page. Here we go. So it's pretty easy, but it's a brilliant way of making this run-of-the-mill progression sound a little more spicy. So this example is in the key of C major. And we use the C major scale to walk to the next chord. So the bass note changes on every beat, so we get that walking feel. So let me explain this real quick. But I'm playing the root note, followed by the chord. And then on B2 I'm changing the root note to the B. So that's the walking bass from C. To B. The next chord was an A minor, playing the same again, the root note and then the chord, and then the bass note changes to G. Then I'm fretting with my pinky over here. The next chord was an F, playing it like this, I can play it like this too. And then on B2 of the F chord, we go to the E root note, because after the F was a D minor, so we get C, B, A, G, F, E and then all the way down to D minor, and then to G, and then the bass note plays a B before we start over again. So here it is slowly. We move on, here's the only three chords you need for any pop, blues or country hit. It's the C, the F, and the G. Let's add the walking bass. So this is still one of the most basic ways of using walking bass in between chords. But now we also added an alternating bass in there. So after each beat, we alternate from the root of the chord, in this case the C, to the fifth of the chord, in this case the G. But we do the same on all the chords. But we're also adding the walking bass part from level one into the mix. So I'm playing the C chord, the root note first, root chord twice, and then my ring finger is playing the root note at the fifth. So G at the low E string, fret three. two times the C, and then I'm walking up, C, C, D, E, dun, to the F chord, of course, and on the F chord we just do the same we did at C. So again, an alternating bass, which is now a C, an F and a C, and then two times F, and now we walk down via the same notes, the C major scale, F to C down. Same at C again, but now we walk down to G. So C, C, B, A to G, or G7 in this case. And the alternating bass pattern on this chord is G, and then a D, open D string. And then we walk up again, G, G, A, B. So here it is, slowly, one time. Next up, number three. In the walking bass line you can typically add each note of the chord itself that is being played. So, the so-called root, the third, and the fifth. On the minor chord we play the minor third, on the major chord we play the major third. This sounds so good because all the notes from the bass line are found in that particular chord. So for this example we're in the key of E minor, I'm strumming the chord at first, the root note and then the chord, down, up, I'm not playing the high E, and then the root note again, 
And now I'm walking up using the, using the minor third, so fret three on the low E string, and fret two on the A string. So these are the notes from the E minor chord, E, G, B. And I'm using those notes in the bass line. And then we move over to the A minor chord, and we do exactly the same. But now on the A string, we play the fifth string. And then fret three on the A string, and fret two on the D string. Back to E minor, the same thing. And now we go to a major chord, the B seventh. So the B seventh is a major chord, so we're playing the one, the root notes, the B, the major third, fret two, one on the D string, and the fifth, fret four on the D string. And that leads us back to E minor. So here it is, slowly one time. Up next, number four. Now we come to a place in time where a lot of blues bass lines are based on the boogie woogie. Wait a minute, this is just a bass line. Oh yeah, of course, um, let me add some chords. One and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. Let's hear it again, please. play the root, the third and the fifth from the chord, but we also add some more spicy notes from mostly the Mixolydian scale in there to make it sound more characteristic. So the bass line goes like this, low G, B, D, E, and then the high G, and back down E, D, B. But we wanted to give the listener some context about the chord, right? So we play the root note and then followed by the chord, which is just the G, so I'm playing the B, the G, and the D string open. And then when I'm here at the high uh, G note, I'm playing the chord over here, three, three, and four, on the highest strings, which is also a G, and then I walk down. And then we go to C, I'm just playing the root note of C, and then the bar chord of C, you can play an open C as well. And then I'm doing the same line, but now I start on C. So C, E, uh, G, A, and C again. And then walking down, for the same path. And if we're up at the high C, we play the chord of C again. So five on G, five on B, and three on the high E. So it sounds like this. And then we go back to G. And now we go to the five chord in the blues, which is the D7 in this case. Playing it like this. D7. And the bass line goes like this. Four. So we start on the five, on the A string, the D. Then to the F sharp, to A, and then to B and C. So. This is one bar. Then we go to C7. same line. And then the G again. And then the G7. So fret 3 on the D string, the F. And then the F, the G7 the voicing over here. 3, 4, 3. Back to E, D, and B. There we are. Here's it slowly one time. Beautiful. 
Next level, number five. Number five. Another cool thing is to let the bass play a little motif in the lower registers when the chords are still doing pretty generic things. <laughs> So what we did, we tried to play a little catchy tune with a bass line in there. Um, we're still using notes from the scale, so in this case E minor. Um, yeah, it sounds like this. So we play the chord, the bass note, and then the chord high. And then we play this little line, 2, 5, and 3 on the low E string. F sharp, A, and G. And the G is the next chord, so. Then we play the G root notes and the chord, just the open strings, D, G, and B. And I'm using this, I played it with finger picking. Doing a lot of hammer-ons with the bass line. And then to the A string, 2, 5, and 3, so the same line, and now we end on C. So it's B, D, and C. And I'm playing a C major 7th. First the root note. And then two, three, two, and then a B, because we end on a B, and the B seventh chord. Just the middle four strings of the guitar. And then a run down. So it's two, open A string, three. So the first two bars. And then we go back to E minor. Do the same lick. But then we walk up to the B7. Open B flat to B. And then a little, little run down. 2, 3, 2. And then A, G, F sharp. So B, C, B, A, G, F sharp. So here it is slowly. Pretty cool. Next up, number six. The last level is based on a more jazzy blues chord progression, incorporating um, secondary dominance, chromatics, leading tones, and just some all-round jazzy lines. Super fun to play. Here it is. So the trick of playing these walking bass with these chords is you can play the one, the third, and the fifth from each seventh chord, but the fourth note in that bar can be either a half step below or above the next chord you're going to. That's a very cool approach to look at it. So if you play a B flat to E flat, you can play B flat, which is the one, three, five, and then if you go to E flat, you can play one note below or above or a half step below or above that E flat chord. So, or below. And if you go back to B flat from E flat, one, three, five, or below. That's the approach of this method of playing. So a full tutorial for this is available on my Patreon page. I'm gonna just play it slowly over here. It takes too long to explain in full for this video. Here we go. Anyway, these are the six level of walking bass I bother about. You could probably go further and more extreme, but if you're into that, you're probably better off buying a bass, and I have no idea what dangers you're taking upon yourself. If you're doing that, 
So there's that. Have a great day, everyone. Uh, tabs are available on my Patreon page. So if you wish to support me, please do so over there. Hit that like button gently and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified by my videos. Have a great day. Cheers.